Hi Aries, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Aries sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. And I'll also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information and um, happy winter solstice for those in the uh, Northern Hemisphere this week. Okay, let's see what we have for you. The sun dancers, joyful activity, celebration of life and abundance. So this is a wonderful card and it's really to be grateful and to enjoy life and to, uh, you know, do things that bring you pleasure, do things that make your spirit fly and put a smile on your face. And so let's see if I get this without reflection here. Celebrate your life and whether that's with friends, family, uh, your partner, your husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, uh, be grateful for what you have, go out and have fun, uh, try to leave your worries behind for the week and put them aside and think about all the good things that are happening for you and within your life. And if you can focus on that, it's certainly a very positive way to begin the week and to live through the week. Um, you can see the light here and there's just a sense of lightness, of actual lightness of lifting off. And when we have these happy times and we have these uh, times with others that are, uh, that create the joy within our life, it's incredibly fulfilling. And so to the extent possible that you can, and December again is a really busy month, work deadlines, end of the year deadlines, family obligations, holiday obligations, it's hard to carve out celebrations. And so, um, it's hard to, uh, create time among the things that you have to do with your family or your friends. So, uh, whatever it is, go forward, be grateful for your abundance, celebrate what you have, celebrate your friendships, celebrate the people that you love, and just think about, um, doing fun things for the week. Do something for yourself that is really enjoyable and fun. So that's a really positive, nice card to start off with the week. And then let's take a look at the body. And so we can get a sense of messages for body. Forgiveness heals. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, I'm willing to forgive myself and others in exchange for what I really want peace and health. And at any point on any day, forgiveness is uh, probably a welcome thing to, to do because forgiveness can uh, create more space and openness within your heart and can allow you to maybe move past the hurt and to move past the pain that you feel that if you feel that you've been wronged by someone, or if you feel that a situation has been unjust or unfair, to allow yourself to forgive and to move on, it's uh, just a way of putting it in its place within your heart and with your soul. And so sometimes it, you feel like you can never forgive, you're angry, and you've been hurt beyond belief, or you've been betrayed. And, you know, how can I ever forgive this person for what they've done to me? And I think we've all been there. But in terms of allowing yourself over time to just say, yeah, yeah, I really had this uh, challenging experience with this person. They really didn't look out for me. And how can I ever forgive them? And, and maybe if you can just a little bit each day, just say, well, you know, this is really on them. This is what they have to account for themselves with. And so I have to allow forgiveness to, be, to take place or to begin so that I can heal so that this doesn't keep me down 
and it doesn't keep me in a place of uh, having this angst because that certainly doesn't help and it doesn't help uh, stress doesn't help your body when you feel this sense of a knot in your stomach because you are angry and hurt with someone. So to the extent possible, forgive and move on. Move on for yourself and focus on what's important in your life and what makes you happy and focus on the people that bring value and bring joy and love to you. And also, I think it's important to keep in mind that people aren't perfect and they make mistakes and to forgive is to, uh, accept that yes, people are imperfect and can be hurtful and can, uh, maybe be at a time in their life that they're unable to do things that were, you know, had integrity or whatever it may be. So forgiving is it may, can be a tall task for some, but it's a small step to your own relief and your own comfort and ultimately your own serenity. Let's take a look at spirit. And uh, I will have a link to all of the Oracle decks that I use um, in the video. Okay. That just popped out. Soul power. Always remember, you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. And so that's a lovely card. Uh, soul power, we have such incredible depths within each and every one of us. And to acknowledge that, that and to um, work on him being the best person that we can be and to uh, allow our light to shine and who we really are to shine and let people see, see that, that's revealing yourself. It's really re revealing the deepest parts of your soul. And so... You know, we all have this power to create and to manifest the life that we want. And we represent who we are. You know, pretty much your vibe, I think that you can tell how people are within the first uh, 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes of meeting someone. You just have that sense. And so uh, when times are tough and you think you can't get through it, your heart and your soul can take you through it, uh, take through uh, through the adversity or ob obstacles in life. And so, um, uh, it's hard to say, I mean, it's, I'm hard to having a hard time bringing the words out with the soul is, uh, really it's what it's all about. It's what do you have in deep, deep within where, who are you? What are you? What do you bring to the world? What do you leave with the world and, and your soul as well, the legacy that you leave. And so, you know, I think it's a great message for the week, which is everyone has this innate power to do the right thing and to do the loving thing and to do the com most compassionate thing for others. So that's a beautiful card. So for the weekly focus or weekly practice area, this is the, I believe it's the Kyle Gray uh, Keepers of the Light Oracle. So we'll get a sense of a practice area. Green Terra, Supreme Protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation and trust. Supreme Protection. Move beyond limitations. And again, it's having that inner strength and that faith within yourself to, um, to break out of any comfort zones and to create a life that you feel is your highest purpose. Cords are being cut for the 
relationships and the energies that don't match where you are in your life, let them go. Move into circles or move into um, dynamics that feed your soul, that uh, make you feel joyful and happy and intellectually stimulated and desired. And so this protection, uh, move beyond limitation. So don't leave yourself in this little space. And I think it really goes to the belief in yourself and the optimism that you have within yourself, which is to, uh, uh, you know, give yourself permission to try something outside of your, where you are. And whether you make it this time or you don't, you keep at it. And I think with the, the message of trust, it's really trusting you. And so for this week, think about the energies within your life. Think about uh, all of the things that are kind of feeding through and weaving through, whether you're stressed at work, whether you are stressed with family, or whether you're pleased and satisfied, you know, take stock of those feelings. And, um, if you feel that things are limiting you, then maybe incrementally or step by step, try to get out of that and try to, um, you know, write down a plan for yourself, maybe two things, two bullet points that you can get yourself beyond limiting yourself. And so limiting yourself may be as something like, you know, I'm a lousy dancer. I could never learn how to ballroom dance. And that's a limiting belief. But if you sign up for lessons, if you talk to other people who are experienced ballroom dancers, you never know uh, unless you try and unless you get yourself out there of what you can accomplish and uh, everything that makes your heart happy or feeds your soul, you know, don't limit yourself trust yourself for the week and, uh, cut the cords or reduce the cords <laughs> that don't serve you. And finally, let's take a look at a theme or, uh, just a general contemplation point for the week as well. This is this is the return of spirit oracle deck and it's these fractal images birthing so birthing can have a few meanings of giving birth to a child but it really can go towards giving birth to new ideas giving birth to new experiences and creation and sometimes when you are creating something there might be some pain involved. There may be some discomfort into bringing something new into the world, your world and the greater world as well. And so you got to hang in there and you have to have trust in yourself and believe in your heart, believe in your power. And you will, uh, you know, hopefully be successful. You know, birthing new ideas, birthing um, inspiration to others, being of service to others. But this is a beautiful card about the process of creation and bringing creation to, to the light. So we have a lot going on here for the week. And my takeaways from this would be Really forgiveness heals because sometimes we can get stuck in the angst of being upset with someone or a situation and it may be hard to do, but it is most beneficial to allow forgiveness and to move past it, to heal yourself, to give yourself peace of mind. And then soul power, it's the engine that drives the whole being is your soul. What's in your soul? Trust yourself. I think that there's a sense here of trust and trusting yourself for the week and of trusting 
your abilities to bring new ideas or new projects, new relationships, creating the life that you want. So I hope that you found something helpful here and that something resonated with you. If you did, please like, uh, share, or comment. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's a great way to stay connected and to show support and click on the little bell notification so that you don't miss any of my uh, daily, weekly, or monthly readings. So I thank you so much for taking the time to watch this reading. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that, again, that something was helpful. And I hope that you'll check back again next week for another weekly Oracle Mind Body Spirit reading. Take care. Bye-bye.